so today is Wednesday the 19th of March and today's vlog is on all the things I secretly love. Now we all have them, things that you like but you never, never, ever want to admit them to anybody because you're too embarrassed. So I've come up with my top five to go through with you and reveal to the whole world. So, number one, High School Musical. Yes, the 2006 movie that involves Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens that was all singing and dancing and possibly the cheesiest movie ever to be existed but I cannot ever stop watching it and I am constantly making references to all the songs Stick to the status quo, bop to the top We're breaking free I mean everybody wants a bit of cheese in their life this film is it guaranteed pick me up and I will probably never ever stop watching it probably I just think it's such a good sing-along film and there, there we have it. Number two, Eurovision. Yes, the TV show that always airs in me every year that involves countries all over Europe that is increasingly getting bigger and bigger and is the biggest, worst thing on TV but I love it and I'm actually really gutted that I'm not going to be there in Copenhagen to see it because being there, or at least in the area that it was being, would have been the best atmosphere ever. I mean, it's it's a show where you just get everybody singing, making the silliest songs, making silly dance routines, and yet they're wanting to win a competition. I mean, it's nobody could come up with it now. And it's just such a big institution. And everybody says that they hate it, but I think a lot more people, a lot more people secretly love it. Um, so yeah. If, you, if you're one of them that, that love it too, comment down below and tell me. Let's, let's get a band of Eurovision lovers together because I think it needs to be loved a bit more. Number three, Mary-Kate and Ashley films. Yes, the twin sensations that have been growing up on our TV screens for years and years, but I cannot put down their films, such as When in London. I mean, who... I just want their life. I mean, every single film, they go somewhere and there seems to be some sort of trouble or they have to, you know, find something or do something. It's so exciting. I mean, this one, they go to London and then they just joke about for the whole film and meet nice English boys. I mean, who, who gets better than that? I, say, I think that Mary-Kate and Ashley films are possibly the best thing to come out of our generation and age group more people should watch Mary Kate and Ashley films and I know you do out there, I know you do. So, number four, Elvis! Yes, the king is the king in my opinion. Nobody can beat a bit of Elvis Presley. I mean, it, it just doesn't get better than this. Yes, it, it might sound cheesy and everybody says jumps on the bandwagon of loving Elvis and you know their songs but I have seen almost every single Elvis film and heard almost every song free enough that was my grandest fault growing up but I now love it and it's because of his influence that I love it and I can't wait to just show that to somebody else Everybody should listen to at least one Elvis song today after watching this video. I guarantee you, you will be singing along by the end of it. Elvis is literally the king. The king. And finally, number five. Western films. Yes, the ones that they all ride about on horses. And usually it's the musical version, such as this one, Clammy Jean. I would do anything to be Doris Day in this. She gets to dress like a boy, talk like a boy, and in the end she becomes a really pretty lady and gets to wear really lovely dresses. And she doesn't have the hassle of, oh my god, he's not going to text me, because they didn't have phones back then. So yeah, Western films are definitely an up. This one, um, Annie Get Your Gun, all those ones, more people should watch them. And I think a lot of people will prejudge them for being boring, but this has some of the best songs that I've ever, ever heard. And I'd happily listen to a song track. But yeah. Western films. Sing along Western films. Even better. So those have been my five secret things that I love. Um, just a quick one. 
But I want you to now tell me what your secret loves are, because I know you've got them. So I want you to put your comments down in the box below and share this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!